Hello everyone, welcome to a new video in our IFS video series. My name is Marcel Aushan, I'm an IFS consultant and today I want to discuss a little bit about how to cancel an invoice and how to undo an order delivery or a shipment delivery. And probably you know as soon as you go live with an ERP system like IFS Cloud, maybe not all of your users are fully trained. Sometimes they make mistakes, especially in the period following the go live, they would make mistakes in delivering the shipments maybe. And obviously after you have created an invoice, maybe you spotted the mistake and then you need to know what do you need to do in order to cancel the invoice and undo the delivery, change whatever needs to be changed in the shipment and then uh, deliver again and recreate the invoice. So without further ado, let me just go directly into the system. Yeah, in, in our scenario, we have one customer order, which is invoice closed for one Cube Reaction Pro bicycle. So the delivery was done with a shipment. Yeah, and if we go to view the shipment lines from the customer order header, we click on the shipment ID to view the details. Now we can see that the um, shipment is completed and also if we look at the general yeah in our scenario we will just assume that um, the delivery note was printed with a wrong delivery term yeah, and yeah we know that the customer might complain about this and unfortunately for us yeah we found out about this mistake after the order has been shipped and the invoice was created no. So uh, what we would need to do, obviously we would need to cancel the invoice and uh, undo the delivery, change the delivery terms, and then we could uh, reprint the, um, the delivery note. Yeah? Because now if we go to the delivery note, just to see how it looks, it would say delivery terms deliver at place in Munich but we want to change it to delivery duty paid and I will show exactly how to do that. We will first have a look initially at our delivery note, shipment delivery note and we could see yeah indeed it shows as delivery in terms of delivery delivery at place and the delivery location is Munich and we would want to change these delivery terms with DDP or the de delivery duty paid. Yeah, and what do we do for that? Uh, first of all, we need, in order to be able to cancel the invoice, we need to make sure that the invoice was not posted. Now, if the invoice was posted, then we can't really cancel it. We will need to really create a return material authorization in order to, to have another shipment created. Yeah? But in our case, Luckily enough, if we go into the order again, our customer invoice is in status preliminary. So we will go into the invoice info from our customer order and from the customer order lines, we will jump into the customer invoice to see the details. Yes, and indeed our customer invoice is in status preliminary. No? Since this was not posted and posted authorized, then we can still cancel the invoice. Yeah, what this will do, basically will set the status to canceled and will revert the um, customer order to status delivered. Yeah, so right now our order in the status invoice, can invoice closed. We will just hit cancel invoice. We can give a cancellation reason wrong delivery terms in shipment okay so now you see the status change to cancelled if we go to general and from here jump into our order in the reference section now we can see our order reverted the status back to delivered no before it was invoice closed and now it's back to delivered. And from here, if we jump again into our shipment lines and then again in the shipment, 
what we have now in the operations button, we have an option to undo delivery. Yeah, this was also there when the, even before canceling the invoice. But if we would have done that while the invoice would have been created and not canceled, we would have gotten an error message that you cannot undo delivery for uh, an order that is invoiced. Yeah? But now, since we cancel the invoice, this is the first prerequisite. If the invoice exists, it must be canceled. And then we can undo delivery. Okay, this is what we do, what we want to do. The shipment delivery will be undone. No? And now you see uh, the the our delivery has been undone and we could go and change our field delivery at place delivery term with delivery duty paid and we just delete the delivery terms location since we're not using uh, the ap anymore we also don't need a location and we will just say save yeah now the system gives us a warning message telling us that these changes are only done in the shipment and not in our customer order. Of course, if we want to do the changes in the customer order as well, yeah, we should be able to do that since the order status is delivered, we should be able to edit it. But for our scenario, it's good enough if we just change it in the shipment because what we want is at the end, the customer when they will receive the delivery note, it should write correctly DDP. Yeah. Of course, would be a good idea to also make the change in the customer order so that everything is aligned. Uh, in our case, we will print again the shipment delivery note just to see that the right deliver uh, the the right uh, delivery terms appear, and then we would be able to deliver again the order. Okay, so we have the delivery note here, and we can see indeed. Terms of delivery, delivery duty paid has been created, uh, is showing successfully here. So our goal has been achieved. And now what we can do, we can deliver again. Yeah, and we can close again the shipment. Yeah, so now it's closed. And if we go back, to our order again the order would be delivered no because we just undo the delivery change the delivery code delivery terms in the shipment and then did the delivery again no? so now our order is delivered but maybe before invoicing this order let's have a look at inventory transaction history to see what has been created there let me just copy the order number uh, inventory transactions history let me open it in a new tab and here we would be searching for source ref one our order number uh, let me see what's the name of the column well let me find it on the screen order ref1 order ref1 should be our order number and then we could quickly have a look at what happened and maybe let's order it descending yeah so the first three transactions is what happened with the first uh, with the first time that the shipment was done was delivered yeah and then we found out that the uh, dispatch coordinator made a mistake yeah and we have a wrong delivery term in the shipment and what we did we just undo did an undo shipment yeah and here we can see undo shipment of inventory parts so basically we added one more piece of the bike in our shipping location no and we change our delivery term and then we did immediately after 
a delivery again and now we see it's with a minus one piece from our shipment location no so this is what we did and then if we go back to our customer order and if we want to invoice it obviously we will go to create customer invoices let's see our order 26 appears here so we can just create an invoice okay and now if we go back to our order and we refresh we should see it changes the status to invoice closed no, and now when we look at the invoice information in the header we should see two invoices yeah still the one that's cancelled it's still linked with the order that's why we see it here but it's cancelled so it will have no effect in finance whatsoever and then this other invoice we could view the details and if everything is okay we can release it no? and this would be the the end of the process in this case now yeah? so this is how you undo delivery when you are using a shipment but you know from the previous videos or if you have some common knowledge of ifs cloud you know we can also use the quick order flow handling for orders that we want to deliver without a shipment now when we don't have a complicated process to move the goods from the warehouse into the shipping preparation and doing a lot of things in the shipping preparation then we can just skip the shipment process and then we just use the quick order flow handling and obviously how do we undo such a delivery yeah, let's assume again there was a wrong uh, delivery term inside the customer order yeah, and we want to our order would have been invoice closed yeah hopefully invoice is still in preliminary status then we can cancel the invoice but we cannot find the shipment because we didn't in we did not deliver that order with a shipment yeah and in those cases uh, what we could use there is a screen called undo customer order delivery yeah and in this screen in this cust undo customer order delivery let me see if i can search by the site de 11 yeah so here there will be uh, all the orders yeah that have been delivered with with the customer order delivery with the um, quick order flow handling so for example we could choose this one 21 and we could say undo delivery now yeah. we see this one has invoices created we could jump into it and see what's the invoice hopefully it's not it's not posted authorized ah, okay so in this case we have uh, this is the order with stage billing yeah so we should be able to cancel all of them and then undo the delivery now yeah, let's do that really quickly so we will cancel the first invoice Yeah, going to the second one, cancel invoice, test, going through the third one, cancel invoice, test, and finally the fourth one from the stage billing. Uh, if you don't know what stage billing is, please watch my previous video where I went in details into this process with order milestones and stage billing. So basically here we have for different invoices at different milestones within the order where we have created these invoices and asking the customer for money yeah? but since they were just preliminary status i could have cancelled it and then if i go back one more time back and then one more time undo customer order delivery if i refresh this screen let me just see the orders now so i have this order 21 where i got an error message when i tried to undo the delivery now i will try again undo the delivery lines with invoices created okay let's have a, a quick check our order number jump into it 
okay so everything is delivered then it should also work with undo customer order delivery no it doesn't cannot undo delivery there are lines with invoices created okay so probably this doesn't work with uh, stage billing no so unfortunately this doesn't work with uh, invoices where we have stage billing but for normal invoices uh, this should be the norm to just press undo delivery whenever you did the delivery with the quick order flow yeah and from there on the process is the same you go into the order you change something and then you uh, do the delivery again yeah good thank you for watching have a great rest of the day bye